Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you wherever you may be. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from my Fool Craft 2 world, which today you might be wondering, where's my base? Where's my base? Well, my base is, is where it is. It's still there. We're actually over at the village that I first spawned in at when I started this particular series 25 episodes ago. This is episode 25. And unfortunately, this is the final episode for this series. This game has simply become too unplayable. And it's not the fault of the game. I love Fullcraft. I hope to play it again. It's just this world, I can't get things done. So, if you've seen it in the videos, the, the last one I think I almost just stopped halfway through trying to make it. Um, because the point of all this for me is to have fun. And I'm not having fun anymore because the world just is not stable. So we're going to do a little summing up, a little tour, a little goodbye to this series today. And uh, of course that should start here in the village where I started. Um, you might recall if you saw the first episode that what I did was I went around and I picked the spot where I wanted to be based on what I wanted to build. But this village gave me my start, which was really great. Uh, and then, of course, from this village, we can check the journey map. I am over here, and I literally swam across the water and found, let me zoom out a little bit. Now I've gotten myself lost. I swam across the water and a little bit south and found my spot spot that I wanted to build on and I'm glad I picked that spot it has worked out really really well so let's go ahead and take a tour my plan from the start was always to build some kind of janky tower no idea what the materials it was going to be made of would be no idea what height it would end up at no idea what each floor would end up being for but every floor was to be for something different I think I've succeeded with the janky tower concept. Um, I don't think it's completely unappealing. I actually kind of like it. It's kind of like, you know, when you put your favorite outfit together, not based on necessarily how perfectly the pieces go together, but on how comfortable they are for you. Like an old pair of shoes with a newer pair of pants. They have colors in common, but they're not the perfect outfit for anyone but you. And this tower is kind of perfect for me, for the way my brain might work, or at least in the instance of this game at this time. One of the things that I would try to do better next time is my measurements as far as getting things so that as I go up and out, the proportions fit a little bit better. Because um, right now, that is the one thing about the tower that bothers me, is that there's not a good sense of proportion as it goes up. I could have made it a circle. I didn't know how to do circles then. I hadn't really looked at that. So I ended up with a weird oval shape instead. And Well, if I were to do this again, I would start with a better circle. Now, circles are something we learned about, or I learned about during this series, and when I worked on the balconies that go around the outside. I started playing with circles on graph paper, and I figured some things out, and then I also watched a video by Jexy Emrys and was able to learn something about spiral staircases. So that was really cool. I was glad to learn that during this series. The tower itself contains, of course, the storage system and the basic automation for the Mystic Aquaculture all down in the basement level. There is a utilitarian room. It started out as our main room on the first floor. And then we have the kitchen, the living quarters, the Hermitron area, and the rooftop garden. So overall, the tower is pretty tall. It has uh, like five, did I just name like five or six floors? That's pretty good for me, considering this was really my first base base in modded minecraft now of course around that we have the gardening area with mystic agriculture and pam's harvest craft items we have the tinker's court with uh the tinker's stuff we have the power system from the escalium and we have a machine shop which contains many things um including our crafting area and of course we have the um 
loot bag processing, which turns stuff into the basic blocks uh, and takes stuff from our loot bag producing systems, the mob farms, the one in the nether and the one here in the overworld, which I still can't believe I actually pulled off building those even though there were great videos to tap to learn about it. This is me we're talking about. Machinery is not my thing. Technical is not my thing. And yet, I did it. I mean, look. And I even took a look at this stuff, which was the thermal expansion, just to look at it. I really didn't need it, but I wanted to look at it. We have moo production. We watched during the series as the moos became mini moos. And uh, there's now an escalium moo, which is great. And of course, this over here is our animal court area and we've put down a couple of traps from Pam's Harvest Craft which I can see how Pam's Harvest Craft would come, has some really handy stuff in it for someone who doesn't have all these other mods. It's one thing about Foolcraft, it has so many mods in it you can kind of do everything ten ways so you have to pick and choose and decide how you want to do it. Now we have the uh, Mystical Nether Portal which to me was one of my first really creative things in this particular series and I still love it. It is so not what I would have expected me to do. A lot of this isn't. All this pink and flowery stuff. Um, not my normal in real life. Um, I don't have a problem with it. It's just not what I would normally choose. Chisel and bits. We got into quite a bit uh, with the chicken coop. I tried not to do too much because of course we know what's going to happen is the, the frame rate drops the more you use it and that's kind of what's been happening over in the mystical agriculture area. So I've been turning everything off that I can in order to improve the playability. I can't even, there we go, it takes a while to even fly. Um, this, the, the, the moo pen, you know once I got different kinds of berry bushes it started to come together a little bit more and adding the vines. I still wish there was a way to restrict the growth of the bushes to one or two high so they wouldn't get quite that tall, but overall I ended up being pleased with the final effect the way it is right now. And a lot of that is because there's different colored berries and so that helps break it up. Um, thanks to the the muffler, the animals don't annoy me anymore either. The chickens were clucky clucky loud while I was working on the Batania area. This area I particularly like. I really think this came out really cool. This was, of course, the petal production area where everything can get turned on. And, of course, we have a mana production area under the big, beautiful tree. The storage area for Batania, which I didn't connect to the main, uh, the main storage system. I like how this came out. The various blocks and the storage and, of course, these always pop down every time I log in and out and I don't know why they just do but it's supposed to look like that <laughs> our gate here I, I mean this whole area was very creative for me personally I, I know there are people out there who could do a lot better than I did but you know what I'm proud of what I did anyway because this was with was me this was me stretching myself um, so I was, I've learned a little bit about Batania. I've learned a little bit about, uh, well, quite a bit about the chickens, a little bit about chisel and bits, how to make circles, the different kinds of glass, including the fly through stuff, you know, which is really cool. Um, Escalium, tinkers, immersive engineering, mystical agriculture. Oh, the, the, uh, deco craft. There's been so much stuff that I have had the chance to learn about and it's been really cool I love it it's a sad day now though because after this quick tour which this is pretty much the quick tour it's time to say goodbye to this world because it's just not functional not functional enough to keep playing in without frustration and that's a bummer because I really wanted to take astral sorcery another few steps at least maybe start learning some more about what the uh, constellations do and really pretty that thing up up there. Make it a little more err uh, than the pretty that's down here, but a pretty err uh, kind of a thing, an edgy pretty. But we're not going to give that a chance. I do want to thank everybody who so much has watched one minute of one video. Who Those who commented or sent me messages telling me they liked this or that or giving me advice on that or this. I appreciate it greatly. This 
has been a lot of fun. And I'm pretty sure at some point I'll probably play Foolcraft again because it's really a fun pack. But it is time to move on. I don't know what's coming next for Modded Minecraft on my channel, but you can expect to see it because I'm enjoying Modded Minecraft. For now, it's time to say goodbye to Foolcraft 2, probably Season 1. Thank you again, folks. This is Little Daffodil, and I will see you in the next series. Thank you.